Hey, what's going on everybody? Donovan Daniel here, Assistant Director of Admissions for Multicultural Recruitment at Indiana University of PA. And this is the Crimson Conversation Series. Now, a little bit about the Crimson Conversation Series. I have amazing conversations with students all the time at their high schools, at college fairs, and right here on campus. And so we created the series so that we could highlight and we could celebrate our underrepresented students, their voices, their experiences. So in today's episode, I asked some amazing students some questions that I think you're gonna wanna hear the answers to. So sit tight, make sure you get something to drink or eat, snack on, and enjoy the wisdom that our IUP students have to offer. I've been at IUP for a very long time. And so coming into IUP, my major was psychology. That's the only thing that I was interested in. But a month before I graduated, I got a mail saying that my GPA was very low. And so I couldn't major in psychology. So they put me in a university college. And what the university college is, is basically for students who, who have a low GPA, or if they feel as if they're not as ready for college, they put you in this program where you can explore your options for core explorers because you might not have a major, but you have interests. And so my interest was surrounding law enforcement, wanted to help people. And within that first semester here at IUP, I kind of realized that criminology might be the best major for me. And so I declared my major psycho into, into criminology the second semester, and I've been a crime major ever since. Um, I love criminology, I lo love learning about crime, and I'm actually a graduate student now wanted to get my master's in criminology and now I might even go for my PhD and it's all because of the university college. Everything that I learned from the university college has helped me become the student that I am today. A transformative experience that I have had while being at IUP is being an RA. Being an RA is a resident assistant where you work in the residence halls. Think of camp counselor kind of vibe, you know? Um, and last year was my first year. I was an RA last year. This year is my first year being a head RA. And last year, I was just kind of thrown into it. I was so excited, and I was meeting a whole bunch of new residents. I was in charge of 90 or so people, which was scary, but I was able to form connections with upperclassmen, underclassmen. I'm having lunch with people like Dr. Seeger, which is so cool. And on the more personal level, I had one resident last year who did not want to be here at all. She missed home, she missed high school, and I just slowly, once again, embodied the, the camp counselor, the educator in me, and was just kind of over the top, you know, um, that kind of annoying friend that you don't really like. And I just kept going, kept inviting her to programs. We would have fun programs like Pi or RA, and we'd have movie night and game night and things like that. And eventually, by the end of the semester, she really started opening herself up. And through her relationship, building her relationship with me, she was able to meet so many more people. And I was able to see her come out of her shell. So seeing her life transformed also transformed my life. So something I can think of right off the bat is joining Yubora Men of IUP. It's an organization on campus that strives to support black and brown men on campus. Um, it's helped me to become more free, you know, on campus. Like because growing up in a Latino household, I love my parents. Trust me, I do. But there's just this these expectations for men especially in Latino culture. And you wore a man of IUP has just helped me get closer to being myself, you know, because that's what college is about, you know, exploring yourself, exploring opportunities. And you bore has just helped me so many ways um, to, to get closer to that. So. During my first year, I really struggled. I was on academic probation and I really needed to reshape how my future was going to go on IEP's campus. I had to find different people like Dr. Dugan from D2A2, uh, my advisor and Ybor Men of IEP, as well as many other people um, around this campus to really uh, reshape and reform my thinking on uh, academics. And that's something that really took me to another level. After gaining those tools and getting the help that I needed, I was then went from academic probation to a 3.5 and making the dean's list. It was crazy to me. 
One transformative experience I've had since I've been here at IUP actually began during my Promising Scholars interview where I connected with a student named Jada. She was from the Lancaster area and we kind of worked through our nerves together and moved on with our lives. We didn't exchange numbers or anything. Fast forward to my freshman year, I was attending United, which is a Christian group on campus, and I saw her sitting in the crowd. And after the club meeting, I went up to her. I couldn't believe that she had ended up at IUP, and so had I, and we reconnected. Since then, we actually both uh, played as teammates on the IUP hockey team together and I recognize that I probably wouldn't have the amazing friendship I do have with her now if I hadn't connected with her at the Promising Scholars interview. A cool experience I've had here at IUP would have to be my internship with the City of Greensburg. Through that internship I was introduced to the planning director Jeff Rakes who has become a sort of mentor for me. He, uh, he's really a teacher at heart and that's what's cool about him. He's great at engaging students and getting them connected with uh, other professionals and opportunities within the planning field and that actually has resulted in me getting an interview for my first professional job coming soon. So one piece of advice that I have for prospective students is to prioritize in time management. I think for incoming freshmen one of the things they want to do is to have the full college experience. They want to go out, they want to have fun, they want to join student organizations, they want to make as many friends as they can. But a lot of times, those activities kind of interfere with what you really need to do to, to be a successful college student. So prioritizing is basically, you know, managing your time very well. That's kind of why I said the time management kind of ties in with that, in that you want to make sure that the things that you're doing benefits you in the long run. You don't want to do things and then you don't get nothing out of that. The things that you do, you want to look back, you know, in the four years that you're here at IUP, or the five years that you had IEP, that you did the things that counted towards being successful. One piece of advice that I would have for a college student is to don't be afraid to grow. Growing is really scary, and I've really been faced with that this year. Thinking about changing possibly my major, changing relationships that I have, moving in different places, and it can be really scary at first, but just remind yourself that college is the perfect place to do it. You are surrounded by great faculty members, great friends, um, everyone really is here to support you and it seems kind of daunting when you come onto campus, but everyone is incredibly, incredibly supportive. And college is the perfect place to try new things. You learn what you like, you learn what you don't. You get to dive headfirst into the things that you do love and kind of move away from those things that um, don't really define you. And it just gives you a great opportunity to eventually grow into who your future, who you're gonna become in the future. Biggest piece of advice I can say is learn to say no. What I mean by that is don't be afraid to say no when you know you can't handle so many things. You'll overextend yourself. Me personally, I had to learn the hard way um, you know, taking on too many things, it takes a toll on you. Um, and you're not saying no just to be difficult. It's, you're saying no because you need to be healthy. And I'm, and I'm asking you to, to learn how to say no because being healthy doesn't just mean physically. You know, during one of my internships, I learned that being healthy means not only physically healthy, mentally healthy, emotionally healthy, and spiritually healthy. And those are some things that you need to, to focus on during your time here. And because IEP offers so many opportunities um, to, for, and different experiences that, you know, some things you're going to have to say no. You're going to have to say no to one thing so that you can enthusiastically say yes to another thing and give it your all. One of my favorite quotes is, proper preparation prevents poor performance. This is something I use because preparing for every circumstance in your life is definitely some key that if you have the information take it and and do what you need to do so that you can be as successful as you can be one piece of advice i have to prospective students is to not be afraid of failure as a high school student, I was the perfectionist, always achieving for A's. And when I came to college and really challenged myself through my coursework, I did meet failure. And at first that was really difficult, but I shifted my mindset to realize if I can utilize my failure to be honest with myself and reflect on what's working, what's not, where can I improve, it actually better equips you to succeed. And so I encourage you to take those 
whatever failure and hardship you experience and really improve yourself through it. A piece of advice for incoming students would be to be successful in college, you really get out of it what you put in. So as much effort as you put in socially or academically, that's going to be exactly what you get out of it. So come in with an open mind and prepare to take advantage of all the opportunities that are presented to you. Hey, if you enjoyed that conversation, I don't want you to miss out on any of the other episodes in our series. So make sure you subscribe to the IUP YouTube account so you can check out all of our amazing content.